Okay, so welcome back to another episode of Conan Exiles. Um, last week, I kind of failed to upload an episode because I was actually ill and I thought I should rest for the time being instead of recording another video because recording takes time. Actually, it only takes two hours of my time, but yeah. Actually, the editing part was the harder one because I need to trim off every nonsense gibberish you know what I mean. For now, let's just craft some armor and get on with this because I'm pretty sure you guys are excited for me to fight another boss. I mean, not another boss. For me to fight a boss, just like promised on the last episode. So for starters, I'm gonna craft light padding. Every armor starts with padding. I'm gonna craft five of it because why not? Weapon-wise, I think we're good. We're also gonna reset our stats back to strength so we can kill bosses faster. We, we can kill them with expertise build, but it takes time to kill them because they have higher HP. So last episode, we consumed a yellow lotus potion to reset our attributes and as you can see, Conan Exile is now at the age of war and some stuff have changed. Like first change as you can notice is my stamina recovers faster now, like very fast. As soon as I stop, it can recover as soon as possible. And look at my stamina consumption now. It consumes everything as if I'm using two-handed sword or a hammer. To be honest, I, I rather have my stamina recover faster okay, and my thirst is getting out of hand let me run out I'm gonna drink the river I'm not gonna drink the river I'm gonna drink from the river okay as I was saying yeah just like in an old system your stamina can still recover slower so if it has numerical value let's say or assuming your stamina is almost depleted out and you use an action there's a chance that it will go into negative values that's why it's recovering slower at least that's what I experience so to compensate that now the stamina recover faster as soon as you stop like it's a point five seconds I guess is it I don't know I didn't count it's a faster stamina recovery like on my first episode I remember I got stuck because I panicked that by trying to jump over a rock but once you get used to the old system of course it's it will take time to move on but yeah only way is forward keep moving forward okay I didn't actually explain why I'm here why am I killing this bunch of stuff and why am I why am I getting uh, crystals and stuff I'm actually trying to that's a creeper Oh man, I'm actually trying to craft uh, the best chill memories. So as you can see in the last or ever since I played Conan Exile, the way to reset your attributes and knowledge is to drink that yellow lotus potion. In Age of War, that's no longer the case. So we need glasses. I don't know why I'm gathering all of this. We basically just need some. We, need, we don't need a lot of glasses. Yeah, I think 560 is more than enough. <laughs> we only need one to be out. We only need three. Enough is never enough. If you played Conan like way back in 2017, you, you can't do run attacks like you're running and all of a sudden you will decide to enter combat mode like this. There's no such thing as that movement but they added it after a while. And the most newest thing in movement that I really like is you can now jump <laughs> like this. How cool is that? Of course you need to jump on the water, not on the rocks or the stone. It's a good demonstration of you killed yourself but this is really fun like look. Oh, rig mortis, I can't harvest that, but I'm just gonna remove it anyway. Yeah, you can also get materials from your own corpse, but that's a dumb way to get hide, I guess. That's a really dumb way to get hide, because the way to get hide is just process any of these. So we have this five padding, and then I don't know which armor to get. Or let's just go sexy. But I'll just go the light piece. While that is crafting, let's try to craft the casting table. What did I do? Wooden iron. Wooden iron. So this, in theory, gives... Uh, carrying weight. Yes, this gives carrying weight. They didn't change it. This is one of the armors that haven't changed ever since Age of Sorcery. Oh, we still need the leggings. I mean, not the leggings, the shoes, I guess. Does this even have shoes? I'm really a fan of this kind of armor. I forgot what I'm supposed to do. Oh no, what? We're, we're supposed to craft something. Craft something above. Oh, we need wood. Got it. Oh, monsters actually hits harder now because of the Age of War. Which is not good because I'm a glass cannon. Well, I'm not I don't have any damage. I'm a glass. <laughs> we also need a bit of XP because to unlock bestial memory we actually need some blood and to craft blood we need to fluid press some human flesh so we can convert it to blood. Let's just craft the correct prerequisite so we won't need to 
think about it later. I think smithing. Yeah, casting table. There we go. I want to place it here. Yeah, there we go. Oh my goodness, my OCD, sorry. It's not even square, so I just need to deal with it. Maybe I can add stairs in here. I don't know. But yeah, we need glass. Oh, we still need we still need the glass flask. We need to smelt this. Let's add lighting while we're running here. Add a bit of touch on our humble base. So we smelt stuff, iron and smelt crystal simultaneously. Then if we really want, we can craft the tier 2 stone here, the, like the bricks. These are tier 2. But yeah, that can wait. We just need 3 glasses. So let's place some lightings while we're here. Maybe behind the... Maybe let's decide to build during the night and go out during the morning. Building can be a bit addicting. If you're like me who focus on building, then combat is still lacking some upper kind of thing it's it's pretty flat in my opinion we can add some overhangs like squared on top so for now let's just kill something and hopefully that's those levels are enough i'm really glad that they add another movement i wonder what's the next movement can the horse kick <laughs> let's just kill these guys before it kills me this is the reason why i avoid uh, humans because humans can use shield and it's annoying if they block if they block because blocking is pretty OP I guess that's our first death like our first normal death or first actual death I don't know anyways blah, that hurts head first okay this is my body let's take it first drink a potion and prepare for battle I mean pair them one by one I guess kill the range first are you a range no you're not a range you're clearly not a range I thought you're an archer I'm so sorry but yeah again annoying stuff about oh about humans because they can equip bows that can cripple you and bow is range compared to hyena bites and they equip shield which blocks your damage fully ouch i can't see where that came from yep i clearly can't see where that came from let's emergency back out kill this guy ow no that really hurts maybe let's set up the bed a bit nearer there's humans called bearers and bearer are the type of humans that carries uh they carry this like huge bag and those bag is like loot drops you can get random items from it that's the guy the one with blue with blue headgear oh my goodness they really hurts totodile help me i'm not poisoned i'm clearly not poisoned where's my aloes there we go okay return to fight let's go totodile totodile let's go no totodile oh totodile totochan ah tonchan wait tonchan is not a crocodile i think tonchan is a turtle wait 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 Let's kill this bit by bit. I forgot to equip this. And drink potion. Oh, he missed. She missed. I don't know. Ah, where's the guy? Oh, this guy's. Where's. I'm just gonna borrow this for now. Where's the guy with the bearer thingy? Where's the guy? Where's the other guy? Hmm. Where did I kill it? Oh, there it is. I don't need hide. I actually need human flesh. So let's use this. I don't know if crocodile head gives blood. I think it only gives bones. Let's just throw that one up. This is frustrating. That gives damage, but this looks better. Sorry. We don't need damage if it doesn't look good we need to go for fashion let's crop some bedroll so we won't need to run all the way to the base so spiders are kind of not that bad here if you know what to get from them you you will actually found them useful like you will beg that there are spiders in the in your area if, oh. so yes yeah, spiders inflicts poison so probably this is a time where we can craft tons of aloe while fighting because we're gonna consume a lot of it let's ignore the bodies we just need some xp if you see some kind of this some stuff like this where is it it's not showing oh wait i'm gonna reconnect to the game so it so i can trigger it maybe hopefully we can trigger it i reconnected there are guys here hmm why did they spawn this reconnecting in single player counts as restarting a server are you i mean there it is so if you see some kind of those stuff it's actually nice to get curious and check what is it because again in this game your curiosity will guide you where, where you're supposed to go and such so again let's enter this one up so this is the time where holding torch is actually good because because it's hard to see in the dark so you guys can see what's going on we can still see a glimpse if it's too dark i'll just gonna use the torch i'm still not used to this new combat system i'm so sorry i'm still trying to attack 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 it's used to not be a thing where you consume all of your stamina if you finish a combo i wish they revert that to the old one but i don't know 
I'm pretty sure they do that because some weapons are really OP. If this combo, like using offhand, is actually really nice damage-wise in my opinion because you can continuously attack them while spending lesser stamina. And there's a lot of spiders here. I don't think we can clear them all before they stop spawning. What level are we? So Skittering Cavern is like spider's cave. It's a cave full of skittering and spitting goose that cripples and poisons you. Ah! Cripple baby! Ah! We gain a level, add it to strength because we're using strength. There we go. We have the combo finisher. I mean heavy blow. Those gray spiders are kind of softer compared to the one with the red red heart. Are, is that their heart? I don't know the parts of spider. Ouch. Water is angry. <laughs> and yeah, like just like that. Um, although I've fight this boss many times, you can still get uh, disgust by that huge ass <laughs> legs. Okay. So the attack pattern for this guy, the big one, I think the name of it is End of All Hope. That's the name of this spider. It's the End of All Hope. So I think we can kill this guy. I was planning to kill this when we reset, but we're healed already, so it's gonna jump. If it's scratch, what a weird way to scratch. But yeah, it's not that hard to kill this. Just wait for it to attack, do your thing, wait for a bit, then attack again. Let's light it up so you guys can see what's going on with the spider. I'll get hit, almost. So if you're holding a torch, you can do this attack. I don't know how much damage it does. Can we even kill this before my weapon? Yeah, we need iron bars. We'll switch to stone once. Oh no, we don't have a stone to craft it. Is this stone? No, it's not. Stone, stone, any stone here? Oh sh! How far can we drag it though? We just need 20 stone. Oh no, we're really not prepared for this. <laughs> hmm, there's no stone. We will need to re-enter and do it over again. Come here, big spider. Oh no, I haven't thought of that. I thought I have stones. Stones? I just need 20. Oh no, the HP is gonna revert back. The HP will go up again if I'm not mistaken. There we go. Yeah, let's let's just run. Oh, uh, mm. I should have opened this in hope for- Oh, that's iron stone, my goodness. I shall return, big spiders. I'm pretty sure yeah, I take- That's a win, that's a win, you're just lucky. That's, that's a win. I'm- That's a win, you big spider. Let's go back to the- base we're level 25 maybe let's just focus on getting xp and return to the spider with full strength nope the damage is really low sorry it's unbearable i need to return to base and craft my weapons is there another bearer spawn oh so they didn't spawn i thought they they respawned because i restarted the game yep lesson learned guys don't go in without spare weapons and stuff let's kill it faster by using bleed i guess i think bleed will do better yeah let's just use this yeah, let's use Cutlass. Why not? We have many irons anyway because we got something. Let's bring spare iron just in case the weapon broke. That's a tier 4 trial. Let's ignore it. We may want it later on. I'm dumping strength, but I think this is an agility weapon. Yeah, that's an agility weapon. We will use this instead. It's like a continuous damage. It's a bit annoying if a human is using it against you. Back to the rematch, I guess. So we'll apply bleed as fast as possible, or we, we will stack it as much as possible. Let's kill this annoying little spider. <laughs> oh, that's embarrassing. For the rematch. Let's go. Oh, that's, that's an early welcoming attack. The maximum stacks of bleed is 20. So if we can stack 20 of it, I'm pretty sure the HP should draft faster. So that's 12. Imagine if the stamina was not reworked into what's the f what's now. This is really really strong weapon to be honest. If it hits me once, I'm dead. Let's leave at least one roll so we can be safe. We don't want to die again. What happened to leaving one stamina to roll? Okay, it's almost dead. Let's not jinx it this time. Yep, I clearly jinxed it. The 20 stacks are now gone. It's almost dead. Okay, I'm pretty sure that's more than enough. Oh, I got the legendary weapon. Anyways, let's get the carcass of this thing. I should be level... Oh, uh, still 27. 
I got the legendary mace. Okay, we have two legendary weapons now. So this is the legendary throwing knife. This is why I always mistaken this guy for a throwing knife because this is a throwing knife. I always use this and I also use this. So we have two legendary weapons at our disposal now. Let's take care of it because legendary weapons are no longer repairable. It used to be repairable but not anymore. Except for the throwing knife. You can actually use that forever. As long as you don't throw it. Like I said, you can throw throwing knives and throwing axes. So maybe we can kill one more boss. Let's be ambitious this time. Actually, there's another spider in this map. We need one more level. Then we will reset and let's try to continue on the first thing. It's the first entry to do. If you don't know anything about Canon Exiles, like, and you're very, very curious, I'm pretty sure it's the first one you will discover regardless. Oh, the blue guy is respawned. I'm gonna kill it. So our damage is really, really, really high now because of the legendary weapons. So Hello let's there. drag. You're not welcome here. So we need one more level. Maybe rock noses. Let's gather iron and uh, hopefully the rock noses can spawn. There we go. The rock nose. How did I even miss? Or why not? Let's kill another legendary monster. I think we can do it. I'm confident that we can do it. Let's kill another one. You can farm these guys and they, they give a lot of stuff. Since it's legendary, most of the stuff are top tier. If you're getting gears, I always go for this one instead of crafting them. I'm just lazy to craft weapons to be honest. And again, this is this is the kind of stuff you can't do on public servers because I'm pretty sure majority of players are hunting them. So this is another tree skull monster. That's the chest. Because of the Age of War update, bosses like this deals higher damage now, but their health is lower. Oh, I'm dead! I've dodged the first one, but not the second one. Okay, so that's the name. No, I died because I just want to check the name, guys. I didn't die because I fell. Where is it? Where is it, though? Did this, did this, did this, oh! If I die the second time, we're not gonna bother to try and kill this again. Because, you know, this is not the main essence of this episode. But I can clearly tell that we can kill it. That's the attack that kills me. We can apply Sunder because the Sunder applies on the third attack or fourth, I don't know. If you have the same habit as me, farming this monster or killing this monster for fun or for the sake of you want to kill something, in faster rate, you can gain actually very, very high XP. Because why not? I think we can kill this. Here we go again. Let's not get over. Here we go. Oh my goodness. My puny heart. If you notice, I'm recovering very fast from rolls. That's because I'm using light armor. If you're using medium armor the recovery from standing up is not that fast it's really noticeable i think the reason why i can't kill this on my newbie days it's because i'm using heavy armor and you know heavy armor actually looks cool i'm not gonna lie it really looks cool heavy armor looks really 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 cool and i'm the type of player who don't pick the one in between so meaning i don't pick the medium armor because it's not light and it's not heavy so if i want to pick light i will pick light if i want more armor i'll pick the heavy I can't remember the time where I picked the medium armor or did I even pick it for the appearance of the armor I think the only time I picked it is when I'm a newbie because oh Stings, oh my goodness yes. did it apply poison it didn't so we can we can heal I don't know how I'm still alive but I'm I'm gonna take it I'm I'm pretty sure I'm supposed to be dead but yeah I'm alive maybe because it's not the consecutive hits or maybe it's not the second hit I shall try avoiding rolling A bit more and we can do this if I gain a bit of vitality we can tank this one and head on fight this oh it's dead Woo! finally okay harvesting their material I mean their carcasses that gives you the skeleton key I didn't explain this a while ago but that gives you skeleton key then the skeleton key can be used to open these boxes the the big spider we killed a while ago is an exception though so you get a key and a specific legendary item that includes the Akbitana throwing knife and the Namibian helmet okay now we need to craft the best shell memories so put the glass craft the glass flask then the mold doesn't consume it won't get consumed 
consume. If it got consumed, I'm lying. There we go. I'm not lying. So I use the glass flask, place it on the bench. Bestial memories. Oh, it's filled. So we need, we just need to place this here. We should add some well if we're deciding to make that as a permanent base. So just like how you refill a water skin, put it in your hot bar and use it. That's how you refill a glass flask and a water skin. Sorry, I don't usually use water skin because I don't like carrying water skin. I rather have gruel. And for context sake, let's consume another yellow lotus potion because there's a special effect that it will emit out of you if you consumed it. So let's craft that together and hopefully you guys can see where it's supposed to go. Maybe let's go in prepared. Am I prepared? No, I'm not prepared. Maybe let's craft some arrows. We will need arrows on this uh, level. Or maybe just throwing throwing something. I don't want to use my legendary weapon. Maybe let's just w use one of these. So we make sure we don't throw it also lighter if we don't equip all 10 of it. So let's use throwing. I clearly didn't learn it. Let's use javelin. Or what's the cheapest one? Oh, this is handcrafted. Let's go for this one. So this is javelin, stone spear, stone spear. Let's just use stone spear. We have a lot of branches. Then let's reset our stats and hopefully we're... Oh, we need the shaved wood. My goodness. Do we have a carpenter's table around here? Yeah, we don't have carpenter's table. Oh my goodness! I, for I keep forgetting that they hit harder now. Okay, this became a Nessie farm real quick. Let's take all of this stuff. Things get out of hand. Before we die again, let's place this real quick. Okay, I'm pretty sure we're supposed to get 50 shaped wood. We have 1000 wood. I'm pretty sure that's not enough. Let's place the carpentry here. So shape wood, that's a second tier material. There we go. We need 50 of those. To craft a single alchemy weapon. Okay. Oh, we have sealed water skin. I, 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 sorry. I don't mean. I don't really use that. This is if you want to be hoplite, you can throw it. Wait. So you control this and control this. You have two throwables if you do that. Maybe let's take this time to extend the base further while we're waiting for the shaped wood because it really takes a long while to craft it. Oh, that's one skull. One skull are actually terrifying. They hit like a boss, but they are quite softer. And given that it's a, an alligator, it really hits hard. It's killed. If I'm not mistaken, this can drop the bestial potion. It bark. So maybe crafting a second one is a good idea because this really takes long time to craft. Let's just wait it out while trying to improve the base, I guess. So fluid press. Human flesh in, berries in, maybe seed as well. Why not? Okay, so we have enough blood. We also have the glass flask with water. So we can now craft a bestial memory. Craft this one, then again, like as, as promised, we're gonna reuse a yellow lotus potion so you guys can see what's going on. While that's crafting, let's sort out these items and stuff. Let's place this one and let's get rid of the carpenter's bench. I mean, let's get rid of the woods. I, I've been carrying it all because I was fixing the base. Slightly improving it. Let's place this all over here, even at twines. 
branch, I guess we need couple hide. I think the, the crafting is done. So let's consume first the bestial memory. Yeah, I, that doesn't spawn anything. And the yellow lotus potion. As much as I want to follow where the light is going, but unfortunately I don't think we can follow where that's going. So let's drop that out. Yeah, gets rid of those. Oh, we're so heavy. Let's place the strength. Yeah, let's just go for combo master. Crushing swings, we don't need that actually. Let's go get some expertise. Some agility of course. Why not? Let's get the backstab. Let's get some vitality. Why not? And now we can carry. So let's go. So the light, if you if you notice, if you notice some lights, every lights emitting away from my body every time I consume that item. Well, it's just gonna go somewhere. It's gonna go somewhere here. We're using a quite decent weapons. I'm pretty sure even these guys can no longer stand a chance against us. So again, we're just gonna take the safest route. So, oh, I throw the knife. Sorry, I really love love it when my item is equipped like this. It slightly looks awesome if your character is running with those two stuff in your inventory. We can actually dive on this, but the water is too shallow. We will die if we dive on there. Don't worry, we will get our chance to dive properly. So this place, usually players discover the area where we're heading at uh, faster because, like I've said, we're not supposed to be here. We're supposed to be in the starting area, like on this shore. I mean, yeah, in this body of water because, you know, surviving is water equals surviving. Since I already know what I'm doing, I, I decided to go there. These monsters that we're having trouble killing before is now can be killed in one hit because of our legendary gear. Oh wait, 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 I wanna do it. I wanna jump, I wanna jump. I haven't tried it to be honest. Ah, I wanna jump higher. I wanna jump higher. Maybe there, maybe we can jump there. I wanna jump head first. I'm like a kid wanting to jump so bad. Sorry, I really wanna jump. I just wanna try what it looks like. I think I'm wasting time here. Sorry, one last try and I'm not gonna try it ever again in this session. Maybe next time. The light will go here. If you ask, how did I know that it will go here? Like, before when I discovered it by accident, I actually consumed the potion all the way in the north. And I was like curious, like, where on earth is this going? And who is that guy? Like, where is it supposed to go? And I thought, you're just a one skull. And I thought I should follow it because why not? And I did. And so I did. I did follow it. I, I lost the light. So I consumed another one. I was using admin mode that time. And I tried to consume it. And it went through there on that place. So I'm pretty sure it's either by you're really curious on what you're trying to consume. Or you're really curious on what the visual effects are. Or your base is near here. That's why you go there. So it's really fun that even though... It's like we're playing hit or miss and hopefully some content was there. The devs turns out place this kind of stuff carefully because you're not supposed to know anything about this. Lore wise, you're not supposed to know anything about this area or place. If you are if you reach this point, I'm really glad that you're still watching because, you know, it's hard to talk alone. <laughs> Skulkers and Sorcerer. Sorcerers are introduced uh, on Age of Sorcery, which took place months ago up to last month. But unfortunately, I didn't manage to explore it. There are events related to it, but there are some features that we can still explore in this age. Again, if you see like this, remember to be curious and interact. Sometimes they do have a lore like this that I'm not gonna bother to read. Some pages like this don't really have any voice line. What's this? Do I get a free cleaver? Oh, it's the scroll. Sorcerer's spell. Oh, I, I actually explored what it's for and you can use that to explore the content about um, sorcery and stuff but we, we clearly haven't unlocked it yet. Don't worry, we're gonna unlock it anytime soon. Wow! I didn't know that there's a tree skull. Oh, that's a two skull. This is the first time I've encountered a two skull. Is that used to be? Oh wait, no. That I remember now what this is. Like two skull are not supposed to be a thing. Like it's a new thing for Age of War. Oh, I don't want to kill this so you guys can see what's going on. So there's a ritual like that. And again, this is a spoiler content for you guys. If you enjoy puzzles and stuff, there's still their fire fighter here. Sorry, I was really... Mm. Mm. Oh. oh no! Uh, I'm biting more than I can chew, I guess. 
Okay, we killed it. I'm just gonna yoink the item and check what it is. Oh, so this is the unique one that you can't craft. It's clearly, you know, my weapon right now is way stronger because this one is legendary. That one is just unique. Again, so we can do the ritual again. Thank you for your cooperation. I remember how stupid I am like... Maybe I should open my... I should raise my hands like something and you can kill me. Me and my brother was exploring it really really hard way back. It took us an hour to figure it out. Finally, we're here. This is the first encounter in the Conan Exile called the Dregs. There's a voice line here if I'm not mistaken. Never mind. That's incomprehensible, but yeah. Poof, I was AFK, I'm sorry, I need to drink a water. Okay, we're glad that guy didn't reach me, because otherwise, Iker. Okay, Iker is actually very good. So the ghost scrolled down all the way here, this is glowing goop. Glowing goop is actually useful because you've unlocked a new type of lighting weapon. I mean lighting stick called this one glowing stick it actually looks cool because it's blue and it's lighter in my opinion like it's not orangey and stuff there are some um, furnitures or decorations that uses this so maybe let's keep a couple and it's not that heavy anyway so I forgot what these things are called I think this is like commodos yeah I think that these are commodos I'm just gonna show you what this dungeon looks like those are patterns then this is clearly a gate so clearly, me before is very stupid because I don't know how did they get in. I don't, I have no idea. So if you got stuck, you just need to interact, press E, and it will open. Because you know, the game doesn't have interact option and that, I don't know, I think the devs missed it. Or it's supposed to be a mystery thing. So this is the first roadblock. You actually need a ranged weapon for this. That's why we craft this stone spear. We need to throw something on that one. Not that kind of throw. There we go. And the water should rise up. Did I even hit that one? Oh, I hit it. Let's craft some more. Just in case we missed. So drags are very straightforward. You just need to go all the way to the end. Okay, we're at the end of the boss. Let's do this. The torch is really good. I really like the torch. Okay, first skeleton encounter. Oh, that's a lot of skeletons. Skellies. Is that the black dye? It's dark dye. Dyes are useful. You can dye your armor in this game. Still have aloe though. We still have some. Let's grab a bit more. Oh, and the good thing about this one is this torch is you can use it underground. Underground? Underwater? Can I hit it from this angle? Do I even have a get very good aim? Did I hit it? Maybe a bit lower? Did I hit it? Do I need to fantasize more? Yes, I hit it! Wow, amazing. 
Okay, and we're almost here. Oh. I need a thumbnail at some point. Wait. The skeleton is getting annoying. Oof. I thought it can't reach me. Let's eat a bit. Ow! That hurts. That so hurts. Okay, that so hurts. We almost died. We only have one HP. Uh, the new stamina system is now annoying. Sorry, I take it back. I don't like the new system anymore. Because you're trying to preserve your stamina as much as you can. But because of the new system, it doesn't matter if you're preserving your stamina. Regardless, you can only attack so many times before the game forces you to rest. I don't... I actually don't use grit to build my attribute so I don't know what's the how the other player deal with that. I tend to not use grit at all. If you're playing this with a friend and he's using a or they are using range weapon, this is actually very very easy because they can shoot the, from afar. I remember playing this with my friend who's been using a bow and this you know she can just use uh, range attacks. Oh, that hurts. This is... you need to harvest this. You will get stuff of triumvirate. Triumvir, tri, triumvirate. I don't know how to pronounce that. You need to get that stuff of triumvirate. And you can get a book down here. That will let you learn more stuff. And that's it for the dregs. So for now, let's get out of here. And this dungeon. Yeah, that will be the thumbnail. Once you finish the dregs, you will be at this place on the map. Then the dregs was right around there below. To give you an idea where it is. The dregs is right around here. There we go. The dregs is right around there. That's where we are a while ago. So for now, let's go home. I think this is the best way to end an episode. We actually killed the dregs. Uh, which is... Wait, sorry. And Hyena is chasing me. Yeah, the dregs is the first one you can kill. Story-wise or lore-wise. In my opinion. Then maybe the next episode can support that. But yeah, again, unfortunately, this is the time we had for today. And before we end this session, let me point out real quick why this upload was late. Actually, I don't have a schedule for uploading video. I only upload video or record an episode if I feel like it. So I hope that solves the confusion. Yeah, unfortunately, this is the time we all have for today. And I hope to see you again next time. For now, let's plant a bedroll. And see you in the next episode. Big spiders. I'm pretty sure I take that's a win. That's a win. You're just lucky. That's a win. I'm that's a win, you big spider. No, I died because I just wanna check the name, guys. I didn't die because I Where is it? Where is it though? Oh of course I'm gonna die and respawn back up and I'm gonna retrieve my item. So yeah, what the